everyone, welcome to the Weekend Adventure of Canada. Today we're in Selkirk, Manitoba and we're going fishing for catfish on the Red River. It's a rainy day, but that's not going to stop us. We have a wonderful guide, Todd Longley, and uh, he's going to show us how to catch these fish. Let's go! Nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet you too. Nice to meet Hi, you. Nice to meet you. So we're going for a big catfish today. Absolutely, we're gonna go crash. Or we're gonna go uh, crush some kitties. Is that what they say? Yeah. Is that the lingo? That's the lingo. So what's a good size fish? Uh, anything over 34 inches. All right. So that's our goal for today. Absolutely. I want to make you both master anglers. Awesome. awesome. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we're ready to go. It's a lovely day. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Eyesight, eh? yeah. So, uh, yeah, you you need the scent. Try to stay away from soaps and stuff while I'm, uh, you know, in bug repellent, sunscreens, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Because I don't want to uh, contaminate my uh, bait. Just a short boat ride, and we're at uh, Todd's sweet spot, and he's going to kind of show us the deal and what we're using and what he's got rigged up for us. Okay. Um, the current is really strong right now because we're in in the springtime. Uh, so the current is just a whaling. So I'm using two three ounce egg sinkers. I've got a uh, catfish rig with a big 50 pound barrel swivel. And this, this uh, snail's about 30 pound line. And I got a five aught hook with uh, two incredibly stinky shrimp. And to hold it on, because we do, we're fishing Manitoba and it's barbless, a bait button to hold it on and we're ready to catch some big catfish. I've never fished for catfish before, so this is kind of new for me and for Wendy as well. But I know a lot of people that have done it and uh, apparently they get pretty big and it's pretty fun and they fight like crazy. So kind of excited about that and yeah, pretty hopeful that we just get a big fish today. For catfishing, you want to hold it a little bit above. So you'll pull it up gently, then without disturbing him, reel down to about chest level, okay? Because what happens if, if your rod's too high, you can't set the hook, right? Yeah. So chest level, just a little bit higher, uh, you can see the rod tip. Now, you're familiar with the term loading up, mm -hmm. that what happens when the rod loads up, it starts to bend down. Mm -hmm. And when it bends down, just a good firm pull back. And once it's bent, reel down, pull up. Reel down, pull up. And that's how you fight them. Let it run if it yeah. wants to run. Well, yeah, you dragger. just hold it. Yeah, yeah. Just, you, it, it's just same principles of fishing. Just don't give it any slack because we're fishing barbless. Right. Barbless. You give it a little bit of slack, that fish is gone. Right. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy peasy. Is there any shame in losing a fish? There's a lot. So just there? don't do it. Okay. Just, just for yourself. <laughs> I'll never let you forget. I know. You can do it. Oh, okay. But Keep it relax, up. nice and slowly. Nice. Walk in the park. That was a screamer. How's it feel? Like a monster? Like a master angler? <laughs> it, it you better look out, it might be a two pounds. I gotta get back here. Trust me, that's an embarrassing thing. Okay, moment. nice and slowly. Okay. Reel down to the water. Yeah. Now slowly pull up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Reel yeah. down? Yep, reel down. Okay. And then slowly pull up. Let's see what you got. Oh, nice fish. Oh, nice. Okay, so right now, is it in the net? Yeah. We're gonna open your bale. Okay. 
I let it down a bit there to get them on. There, put some line on. Okay, okay and then engage. Okay, can we get the top down here? Yeah. Oh. Another beautiful fish. Sweet! And look how fat it is. Cool. Are they okay. just foraging right now? Yeah, they're they're chubbing up before spawn. Wow. Yeah, they're really nice. Nice job, Wendy. Nice fish. And once again, hook slides right to the corner. Yeah. What it'll do is it'll start here and then end up all the way down here. It'll slide down. Wow, eh? Yeah. You want to grab the net? That's incredible. It was really heavy. Okay. The sinker's fell in the mesh. Yeah, he's fatter than he's long. Yeah, but if it goes from one side of the tub to the other, which it does, it's a master. Master angler! Yes, so you've got about a 34 and a quarter inch fish also. My girl. first catfish. And it that's was a incredible. big one. Really good. And it's a world record. It is a world record. <laughs> Look at the gut on that. That's a Manitoba channel cat. Beautiful. Fat and beautiful, <laughs> like me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to get a selfie. Fat and beautiful. That shot. I like staying in Kenora.com because it's more than just a site to book my hotel online. It's a place where I can actually make plans to explore Lake Country in northwestern Ontario. Uh, what's great about the website is that they offer package deals which allow me to not just book my room but book uh, activities for the weekend as well. It's easy, it's convenient, there's a great selection of places to stay while you are in town and all the amenities are listed right on the site. If you're going to stay in Kenora, you stay in Kenora.com. Bobby's Corner in Vermilion Bay has had a facelift. But don't worry, it's still the same Bobby's you've come to love. Still carrying the latest and greatest tackle products for our customers. And the one and only Andy's Fish Breading. Our gift shop is still packed with unique Canadian-made gifts. And of course, you can always count on us for friendly customer service to make your stay in Vermilion Bay as enjoyable as possible. So find out what's changed. And what we promise to keep the same. At Bobby's Corner on the Trans-Canada Highway in Vermilion Bay. Hey, my car almost ready? Yep, your winter tires are almost on. Ooh, so close. Maybe give us a shout tomorrow. Dave, next time come to Cal Tire, we'll make sure you're taken care of. Even if it's one minute to close, we're still open. For the best selection of brand name tires, talk to Cal. Devil's Gap Marina is ready to give you a hand this season, so pull up to their docks or roll up to the pumps before you hit the lake and stock up on a variety of live and artificial baits. While you're at it, you can grab some snacks at their convenience store or fuel up at the chip truck. Our marina staff is happy to lend a hand at both Devil's Gap and Bear Point Marina so you can spend less time on shore and more time on the water. Devil's Gap Marina, open year-round on beautiful Lake of the Woods. You're watching Northwestern Ontario's favorite TV station, CJBN. We are Sunset Country. Today we're in Selkirk, Manitoba, and we're going fishing for catfish on the Red River. Okay, reel down, pull up. Beautiful. And I'm going to grab the net. Well, it feels like I'm snagged. Okay. Here, give me that. Is that a normal feeling? No. Like oh no, we got her. Never mind. We're good. How does it feel? Mm, I don't know. I've never caught a catfish. 
Can you grab me that tub up there? Thank I don't you. know that it's too big, but... We'll see if it starts bulldogging right away. Sizable? Sizable? Bigger than a smallie. <laughs> oh! Yeah, bring it over here. He's cranky. Yep. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh. Sweet! <laughs> Look how big that oh, is. Oh, yeah! Oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this when I retire. They're so heavy. Oh my. Beautiful. So, oh my. Beautiful. Oh, look at, so these are, we looked this up. These are barbels? Yes, there's barbels. This is what they uh, a taste, taste their. Taste with? Yeah. And you see, remember I was telling you, you'll set the hook here. Yeah. And you see where it slides? Yeah. Right to the end. Right to the fleshy part. Yeah. So this is hard. Yeah. They have no teeth, right? They well, have they like, have bristles. You uh, Like sandpaper, like bass? Yeah, what'll happen is if you get bit by a channel cat, you'll bleed from about a hundred little pinpricks. Oh, sounds lovely. Yeah. Okay, can you That's pass self. me a towel under there? Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we'll get it out. If it goes from one side to the other, it's 34 inches. Okay. So let's get Get him out of the, of the net? You want yeah, me to grab the net. net. So it's over 34 over inches. Over 34. So you're a master. Yes. So master let's angler. let's get an uh, let's get a measurement for the big you know just yeah. for. Official. Yeah. So what we'll do is just put this right on here like this, just on the edge. Hold it, and okay. I'll get the fish and measure them right across. Okay. 34 in a nose. So Sweet. it's a master. Yeah. It's it's. I don't know, it didn't feel that big at first, but then when it got closer to the boat and it kind of started to bulldog, as he says, pulls down, I, I fear, realized it might be a little bit bigger than I thought. It was pretty cool. But yeah, it was a good fight. It didn't fight, I don't, it's not too long, so you're not exhausted or anything. It's no two pound salmon. <laughs> <laughs> pretty tough fish. Well, very tough. So your first awesome. catfish, I'll get three. That's Thanks. my first catfish I've ever caught. That was pretty cool. And how much, so how much do you think he weighed? Oh, probably about 20 pounds. Yeah? Oh, yeah. she's got one. Well, you can always leave the bend in your rod, okay? okay? So when you reel down, keep that bend. Now pull back. Don't straighten it out. That'll just keep the line tight without any slack. Well, we're, because we're barbless, eh? Yeah, she's got a fish on. Yeah. <laughs> just been sitting there going, are you doing? <laughs> Trying to help you out, sister. Set the hook. Imagine world class catfish. Maybe be a world class baby. drum. No, it's not that big. You reel down to the water and then pull up. Beautiful. There we go. Nice drum. Just try to pull it over here. You getting a hit on that one? No, I'm just trying to get so it doesn't. Okay. You can't open your bail. That's a nice drum. I'm just going to measure him just for argument's sake because he might be master. Just need 24 inches. 23, one inch short of master. So, and that's what? It's a freshwater drum. So it's not a catfish, but uh, I did catch something. Yeah. 23 inch freshwater drum. That's a respectable fish. One inch off Manitoba master angler. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna let him go. Right on. Good job, sister.
Here at Dryden's Domino's Pizza, we're always ready to take your order. With over 380 locations coast to coast, you can call it in, order online, or use the Domino's Pizza app. And we'll have hot and fresh handmade pizza baked to perfection in your hands in no time. Right now, order any medium two-topping pizza, Domino's chicken product, or medium cheesy garlic fingers for $7.99 each when you order two items or more. Domino's Pizza, online at dominoes.ca. Remmer Roofing um, is what I consider a third generation uh, roofing company. Noel Iman started Iman Roofing in 1956 and was a uh, taken over by my father and my uncle Leo. And when my father passed away, Remmer Roofing was started. Remmer Roofing stands for Robert Emond Merritt Roofing. Merritt is Bill Merritt, who is my partner, and he is probably the best roofer um, I know. There was no professional roofing contractor in the area. Now the contractors, the public, can rely on somebody that guarantees their work and guarantees a warranty and guarantees a good job. We do all roofs and um, the, the more challenging, the better. We go above and beyond the building code on every roof we do. That quality is very important to us. And, and what you do get with us is a good quality job the first time around. From start to finish, you're gonna get a good job from Remmer Roofing. Lund is the original, authentic fishing boat. Fishability inspired by the world's best anglers industry-leading innovation and design, precise boat control to stay on fish, rugged, proven, uncompromising, conquer the water, capture the excitement, legendary Lund boats, built by fishermen for fishermen. Come on, get ready. Yep, yep. Oh, oh yeah, take them, take them, pull back. Fish on. Nice. That well played, sir. Hey. It felt bigger at first, but I don't it might know be swimming this way. I think we might be uh, crossed. Yeah. I will feel. Oh yeah, it's coming in. Hey, where's your line? It's like we're reeling it in together. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I gotta yeah. get line out. I don't want yeah. friction to cut it. But if I can figure out, yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, come over here. Beautiful. Oh, that's a nice cat. Oh. Whoa! Oh. That's a big one. That's a big one. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously, my Kay. back's about to pop. Okay. Oh. Holy! Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at how big that is. That's a pig. Nice! Bit in the bucket. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Look at that head on that. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll get the net out of the way. Okay, just where's the sinkers? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, what a monster. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, is he ever fat? Look at how wide he is. That's a big old prego catfish. Oh, she's beautiful. Kayla. <laughs> she's glowing. She's glowing. She's she may be dilated too. Let's get her. Let's get her back. Let's measure her. So what do you think this weighs? How oh, do you think it weighs? This is probably a good 28 inch. Look at the. Look at how. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a very Jeez. powerful fish. No kidding. I can't imagine how strong they are. Okay, put it right on the rim. No, on the rim there. Yeah. Uh, oh, 37. 37. 37 inches. Nice. Yeah, it's a beast. 
Look at that. How cool is that? Now that's a Manitoba channel cat. Todd Longley, everybody, if you want to come fishing. That's awesome. During their trip on the Red River, both August and Wendy caught master angler-sized channel catfish. What does this mean exactly? Well, the Manitoba Master Angler Program is set up to record big fish across the province for over 20 different species. Qualifying catfish need to be 34 inches or bigger. The other fish they've been catching, the freshwater drum, needs to be over 24 inches. Record your big fish from your trip at anglers.travelmanitoba.com to win bragging rights and, of course, a chance at a prize. Just finished bringing in a 37 incher and we're having a double header right now because Wendy's hooked up and she's got a fish coming in right now. So we're pretty excited about this. This is fast action fishing, super fun, super exciting, not dull or boring. And uh, yeah, like check this out. This is pretty crazy. And it's also close to home. Half hour from Winnipeg. Half hour from Winnipeg. That a girl. Sweet. Oh, I oh. missed him. Oh. Yeah, he, he got Shh, out the back there. little bugger. That a girl. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's still a good size fish. I know, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, this will be a good photo. If one of you is willing to hold I'll one. I'll hold the little one. Okay. This is incredible. I mean, there's so much action going on. There's so much energy in the boat. There's never, literally never a dull moment. I still want to get cut up by the gills. I have a bad You got to always watch these spines. Feel right here. Sharp. Oh, eh? cheese and rice. Yeah, it's pretty. It stings like a bee. So just, Kay. just like I'm holding it. Lone wolf kind of fish, right? In the uh, in the summer, they'll they'll stay by themselves because they're so big that you know they <laughs> they they can't really hang around with other fish and get fed, right? So they'll, they'll hang out on their own. But they, there will be a lot in an area that has a lot of rocks. So I, I can go to a spot and get maybe 12, 13 cats out of it, and then move to another one and do the same thing. You're watching Northwestern Ontario's favorite TV station, CJBN. We are Sunset Country. Best Western Lakeside Inn, where you can lie down for the best sleep or plan the best event in one of our meeting rooms. Have dinner with the best view of Lake of the Woods and feel your best at the Kenora Recreation Center right across the street. The Best Western Lakeside Inn is where you can have the best rest. A proud member of the Kenora Hospitality Alliance. Before you hit the lake, grab a bite at Dryden's A&W, home of better beef and world famous root beer. Your whole family can enjoy our A&W burger family knowing that our beef is raised without the use of added hormones or steroids. So whether you're driving your car, boat, or RV through our expansive lot, or dining in our restaurant, you can count on food that's fast and fresh and service that's friendly and accommodating at Dryden's A&W. Kenora.com because it's more than just a site to book my hotel online. It's a place where I can actually make plans to explore lake country in northwestern Ontario. It's easy, it's convenient, there's a great selection of places to stay when you're in town, and all of the amenities are listed on the site. It just makes sense. If you're going to stay in Kenora, you stay in Kenora.com.
The largest channel catfish recorded into the Master Angler program was caught by Robert Antonichuk of Manitoba in 1992 with a fish that measured 46 and a half inches and has an estimated weight over 45 pounds. The largest freshwater drum recorded in the Master Angler program was caught by Rick Coral of Florida who caught a 35 inch fish out of the Red River in 2009. Now that's a vacation memory that will last a lifetime. We just realized it's it's been a pretty early morning for us. We were uh, we met our guide uh, Todd at 5 a.m. We're on the water by 6:30 at the latest, and uh, we've got four cats in the boat. Six six, six cats, cats in the boat. Three over 34 inches and four drum. And what time is it? It's uh, it's 10 after eight. It's 10 after eight. Yeah. We're out here in the rain. It's been uh, on and off, but you know what? The fish have been on. And it's not that bad. It's warm at least, yeah. and the fish are here, and it's exciting, and it's been a really good day so far. We can't believe it's only 10 after 8. So yeah. it's been nonstop action. Yeah. Good day. Really I feel a world record coming on. Either that or she's got the plug. <laughs> What's the plug? In the river. Oh. Oh, it just turned. Oh, I got oh. it. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another beautiful Manitoba Channel cat. Wow! He looks like a totally different kind of fish. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, let's measure him. Okay. 34 and like a quarter, basically. Another master. Another master. That's the coolest looking one I've seen yet. Like, that's pretty neat. Say hello to Mr. Midnight. Truth be told, it was her rod, and she wasn't paying attention to it. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to clean up the boat and get everything out of the way so that we could land this fish. Which is a world record. Look <laughs> at your fish. Sweet. Awesome. That was awesome. It was awesome. Again. Again. You can't stop saying that because it's just, it seems to get more, to be more and more fun. It never gets old. Like no. How it's just non-stop. You do this all day and it's only like 9 o'clock. I've got my workout. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for lunch. Yeah. What better way to wrap up a day of fishing than to sit and have some really good food and good drinks. We're here at Danny's Barbecue and Smokehouse with Danny Kleinsaucer, the owner, and he's treating us to great barbecue. We're really excited. We can't wait to dig in. It's been a really long day of fishing. It's been incredible, in fact. Uh, Todd is an excellent guide. He showed us all around the Red River. We caught some amazing fish, and it's just been all out fascinating. It's been awesome. Check this out. Check out our Facebook page. We're going to have links to not only Danny's restaurant, but also to Todd's website. If you ever want to come fishing up on the Red River, we highly suggest it. It's probably one of the funnest days I've had fishing in a long time. We caught tons of fish in an incredibly short amount of time. He does half-day guide trips. That's all you need. And he'll put you on the big fish, and you'll have fun. You'll really enjoy it. It's worth it. It's really worth it. And it's only half an hour from Winnipeg. That's right. Check it out. Citycats.ca. We'll see you on Facebook. All right, guys, cheers to a great day. Amazing. Cheers. Thank you. Yo! <laughs> I like it. Welcome. Canada. Contender. Okay, it happened. She pulled it down. It's a rainy day, but that's not going to slow us down. It's going to be a wet fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you damned it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's all right. I got my cheetah pants on for the occasion. Oh, see? Your inner cat. Oh, my inner cat. That's and I'm going to have a heart attack. Rivercats.ca. <laughs> Rivercats? No, it's Manitoba. No. City Cats. No. City Cats. Wait, I'm so tired. I don't even know my email number. Well, email number. Email number. Well, there you go. <laughs> Four, six, no. No, that's not how no, you email no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Citycats.ca.